What is up all you beautiful people? It is I, Akami TG, back with a brand new vlog. And today, we are going to spend a whole entire, I believe four or five days, going to a YCS. So I've never vlogged a YCS before. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Obviously, I can't record the matches if you guys are looking forward to that. However, I will be talking about what I'll be doing, the decks I got, and you guys can just join me on this adventure. Let's do it. I went to Yu-Gi-Oh! Nationals in 2022. I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to share my journey with all of you. Guys, we made it to the airport. We, uh, I'm with my boy Emilio, and I met up with these guys here. Uh, all right, tell me about your flight situation. Oh uh, yeah, we were here on time, but uh, you know they hit us with that infinite loop. <laughs> TSA was like, "Nah, your tickets don't work." The ticket booth was like, "Nah, your it's okay, go back." And then TSA was like, "Nah, you gotta go back." Bro. And then obviously we missed our flight. So, so how long were you here for? <laughs> Eleven hours. But you know we got the testing in. We're ready. Guys, we made it safely to Minneapolis. Look at this. Look at this tour of the place. It's got the furnish. It's got the, it's got everything. Oh, that's my stuff. Bam, look at that kitchen. Bam, bam. A little cozy bed there. So, you know, it's pretty goo. Fan was already on, a little iron. Yeah, it feels like home, honestly. It feels like home. Amelia, how do you feel about this Airbnb? Oh, it's lovely. It's nice, right? For, what is it, 100 bucks a night? Yeah, 100. That's not bad. Yeah, 100 something. This is like comparable to like, obviously you can't beat a hotel next to the venue, but like it feels like yeah. a home, you know? Yo, we can watch Akemi TCG videos right there. Uh, good morning, guys. Shit, the sun's bright. Oh, that's bad lighting. What's <laughs> up, guys? We are in day... Day zero of the YCS. We got your boy, you know, Amelia here. What's He's up? cruising. We're gonna walk to the registration and then uh, get the coin, get some food, and just have a good time. So. at the diner right now what do you yeah. get what'd you get uh protein omelette has a lot of meat on it protein omelette and then i order more meat sausage because you, your boy's on that keto grind and me i'm on the exact opposite we got the toast the fries with the stuff on it salsa sour cream breakfast burrito that looks good. Looks good and the most important part Tabasco sauce. So I'm gonna munch on this and we're gonna eat it. It's gonna be sick. What's up, guys? We're in the venue. I'm gonna show you guys how huge this venue is. You know, Minneapolis. Yeah. You know, it's crazy outside. There was broken windows everywhere, but you know, <laughs> we made it. Uh, we got here wicked early. So we here. We got the boys here. We got Emilio. He's got the Kurakara. He's got What's going on, Edward. What? Edward. What's your What's Spencer? Name? Spencer. All right. Let's do some pack over. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's save the coins for last. We, oh, save the coins. That's, that's the goo. Right. The pot of green one, the, the goo one. Uh, okay. It's not looking good. Come on, come on, you can do it. It's not looking good, man. Have faith, come on. It's not looking good. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. Ooh. Secret rare. I'll take it. Was it like eight bucks? Something like that. Yeah, I think somebody just paid like 15 bucks for it. Oh! Oh wait, that's the wrong Bistic card. <laughs> <laughs> it's still like two bucks. I got a silver coin. Time wizard. Nice. Look, look at this. Coming fall. Oh, nice. Oh, Ooh, see that? Fall. It's nice. You get a gold coin? Is that gold? Oh, nope. Silver. I got the power greed. Ooh, oh, nice. Smile. Focus. Nice. And it's uh, 
us. Yeah. Oh, a dark magician. Ooh, dark magician. I, I kind of want yeah, that. We're one. doing some trades here. We're picking up some goo. We got your boy here. I'm Mitch. Mitch. All right. What do you got? I got. What stylus you got for us? So I got the uh, Chillman's Rocalos. Mm. I got Exo Sister Martha and a Kurikara Divin Carnage. Okay, I have a very life changing question for you. Okay. Yeah. What, which one would you smash? Which one would you marry? Which one would you kill? I'm I'm killing Kurikara. All right, she's I'm, dead. She's yeah, dead. Okay, no, she's on the picture. Okay. Um, Smash the tournaments and uh, marry Martha. Marry Martha. Marry Why Martha. would you marry Martha over marrying Lucalus? I feel like she could take care of me financially. Financially? But, like but she's, she's worth more. Mama. But this one's worth more financially. Uh, That's she's worth more financially. But I feel like I feel like I'd be happy just to smash. I feel like this is marriage waifu material. Here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I get you. I feel you, Mitch. Okay. Good afternoon, guys. We are at the YCS, right? Yeah. The YCS. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. We're at the Mall of America. This is the biggest mall apparently in America. This is that's not. This is gonna be a huge, huge place. I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour. Obviously, there's way too much to see here. But too much. We have some important manners to attend to. We gotta take a picture next to that SpongeBob. Yo, look at this SpongeBob. What deck would SpongeBob? Play. Goldie? Yeah. Goldie? Okay, guys, let me know in the comments down below <laughs> what deck you think SpongeBob plays. Just walked inside, and then look. Oh, we know this place is massive. Holy crap, man. Wow, that explains all the traffic here. That's crazy. That's wild. That Chick fil A, Burger King, Panda Express, Not Grill. Uh, don't drop that camera. Oh, boy. This is absolutely wild. I've never been to a mall this big before. And I think this might be the biggest mall in the world. Maybe Crazy. I'm not sure. Crazy. They got Panda Express. They got ramen. A Cheeto ramen. Poke. Poke, dude. There's a Ferris wheel and a whole amusement park here. That is crazy. That is wild. Got some food. So I'm eating um, dragon fruit drink. And I got some Chashu ramen. Looking crispy, looking hot, looking good. What are you eating? A uh, little bit of Mexican food, uh, base of uh, greens, you know, keep it healthy. Guacamole, uh, chicken with salsa cholula, and bistec ranchero. Ooh, looking it's crispy. It's good. I'm ready. What's up, guys? Guess where we are? It's a maze. What the? Wait. Yeah, it's it's weird. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. What the? F what the? F Hey yo! <laughs> hey yo! Oh, you can see the lines, right? I can see myself. I can see myself. See myself. All right, which academy teacher do you would you subscribe to? Let me know down below. Oh shoot, man! No, no, you. Which one's the real one? Which one's the real one? Uh -oh. So we just did the uh, the mirror maze for fun, right? You know, we're gonna go look at some games. You know, this place is ginormous. Like, come on. You guys don't understand. Okay. Uh, so we just did the log shoot. I'm soaking wet. And uh, let's see, let's see the photos. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to another random Akemi TCG journey. And I uh, <laughs> guess where we're at? We're at the aquarium. Yo, this. Well, the reason why we're here is we're studying um, natural habitats of real Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Goldie so, players, mermaid um, players. We're crazy. Like, um, we have to study the T element habitat before we can figure out how to beat the T element. Up. Oh. Uh, that's the nimble angler. Check that out. Crazy. Here, over here, we have the exhibit of the uh, T Elements Rhino Heart. What do you want to say about uh, man, dude? This is so cool. This is like when we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but in 3D. Wow. Up there. Crazy. Yo, guys, 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 guys. Guess what I just found? I found Gamma Seal. 
the sea turtle kaiju. He's sleeping. So your monster's not gonna get tributed today, so he's sleeping. Watch out. you know um, guys we have some secret technology to track down the tier players and to defeat them we do have this this camera here in uh, Minneapolis so you can find every tier player every sprite player every runic player and shut them down permanently you'll know every card in their hand if you use this camera so watch out watch the cam wait 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 that's a tier player uh, if you want to pull good Yu-Gi-Oh packs you gotta touch the starfish the starfish gives you starlight rares. Oh, that feels funny. That feels moist. Okay, you have to go through Hurricane Simulator and we have to understand the meta in order to beat it. That was a waste of $3. <laughs> it was just a giant fan. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, guys, we are back from the Great Mall. We were there for like five hours and I'm just, just really exhausted. So we got some rations and stuff for tomorrow. We got the Fiji water. We got the, the monster, the monster, then beefs, jerky, and then more, more goo. But basically we're just gonna rest up, recharge, and then uh, get ready for uh, tomorrow. So see you guys there. We're gonna have a, a goo time. You know what I mean? A goo time. Woo! guys it is day one at the YCS uh, Minneapolis we just had a really good stuffed breakfast I got an eggs Benny so our rounds just started in roughly an hour they should start in an hour we're just gonna do our best we had no time to play test last night because I was just too exhausted so we just went to bed but that's okay Alright guys, game one, we, uh, we got the first one, we got the first game, you know, we won in time, you know. I got, um, I played against Beast of Despia, uh, game one I comboed, it was a lot of back and forth, so I uh, ended up winning because of uh, just more research yeah. And then game two I got Deck Dev Erad, so that sucked, but game three, because it's ten minutes, it takes about three minutes to set up, seven minutes to set up the board. And then he even leaves me, and I'm like, yeah, your fate is sealed because, you know, there's no more time, so. No, these guys, we all winning. My special Fenrir. We all winning in New England. We all winning. Hell yeah, let's go. Yo, what's up, guys? We made it to uh, game round two, right? Round two. Uh, I won the dice roll. I made a board against Rooney Sprite. He couldn't break it, okay? And then afterwards, game two, we played a long grind game. Game three, we didn't have much time left, but I made a board and gain life points while making the board, so basically, they can't do anything. Uh, I noticed his fate was sealed when there was two minutes left in the clock and he played a runic card, that means that there's no way he can do damage. Uh, he hard drew a red resonator, but I was able to negate that, and then uh, he summoned blue, I let it go through, resolution, I attributed the blue. So, yeah, it was all wraps from there, so. Let's go to round three. Round two, right, round two. Uh, I won the dice roll. I made a board against Rooney Sprite. He couldn't break it. Okay. And then afterwards, game two, we played a long grind game. Game three, we didn't have much time left, but I made a board and gained life points while making the board. So basically, they can't do anything. Uh, I noticed his fate was sealed when there was two minutes left in the clock and he played a Rooney card. That means that there's no way he can do damage. Uh, he hard drew a red resonator, but I was able to negate that. And then uh, he summoned blue. I let it go through. Resolution, I attributed the blue. So. Yeah, it was all wraps from there, so. Let's go to round three. Round three, uh, I played against Math Pack. I bodied him game one. Cause he just had Ash and he just bricked. And then game two, he went first and I couldn't break through his board. So, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Then game three, it was a weird spot. Um, I kept on my going second cards going in. 
and then I had my opponent go first. And he decided in evenly matches. I'm pretty sure he did because I saw the look in his face and he's like, what the f So basically, he, he told set to pass. I draw, activate Lightning Storm. He changed the, the, the trap, Factorial. He summons Laplacian. Laplacian rips the card out of my hand. He rips the tactics out of my hand. And I'm like, what the heck, man? You're just good at the game. But that's okay because I still have plays. Then he had both Ash and Nib, and uh, my fate was sealed there. So that was round three. Round four, uh, game one, I played against Tier Elements, just straight up Tier Elements. Tier Elements with Despia, branded Tier Elements. And he set one pass, I draw, I summon my tree, normal summon. Losi, go off into the tree. He activates Gamma, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. Uh, the tree gets popped. Then I play Talents to look at his hand. His hand was really bad. Uh, he had a Cartesia, a Brandon High Spirits, I ripped his, and a Gamma, which is whatever. I ripped his uh, Brandon High Spirits off, and I activate one for one, and then his fan was sealed there. But game two, it was a long grind back and forth, and he ended up Rule Kalos, uh, my pedal, so it doesn't come back. I conk on the field, I draw, I draw into Sheet. Uh, there was about a minute left on the clock, he went to battle. Uh, declared attack, I'm like, sure. I activated Sheet, I take his, I tribute his Rokalos for cost, and then uh, grab his Kaleido Heart, and he just gave gave me the win, because I had more life points at the time, so. It's really lucky just drawing the Sheet exactly when I needed it, so we take those. I play against Sprite Malfi for the first time. Um, game one, I got wrecked because I couldn't break his board. Game two, uh, I made a board. I had Droplet, Rivalry, and Sheet face down, and then a full plant board, so it was so gross. On my turn, he Ghost Mourner, or Ghost, Ghost Bell, so I couldn't summon Bengal Dancer back, which is fine. And then he, on his turn, he activated Duster, then activated, um, on Resolution, activated Call By to hit the, the Rika Princess, and I thought I was done, right? He made a full sprite board, but, you know, I kept playing through it, and somehow I managed to push back and beat him afterwards, which is, I don't know how that happened. It worked. And we get to game three. I tried to play through it, but he made a semi-decent board without Toad, and I didn't open any board breakers, so, you know, if, if it happens, it happens. But it was Match cool. number seven, your boy got eliminated by uh, by this guy over here. Hey. Tell, tell him what you did to me game, uh, game one. Uh, I used Guardian Chimera. And I drew into, or he, I used Guardian Chimera and he chained the Rika Trap to take control of it. Yep. And then I drew Fenrir and Primeval Planet. Special Fenrir, search another copy of Fenrir, Primeval Planet, search Sheeran, and then Sheeran effect, discard Fenrir, and I milled two names and I was able to OTK him. <laughs> he milled two names and he broke the board. The he board. Broke I, the broke full the, board. I broke the board and then OTK. Like high <laughs> Periton, everything. Because I didn't know he was playing. Uh, any tier stuff because he was just playing only branded yeah, stuff. So I drew a lot of branded cards, but that Camaro was crazy. Yeah. Man. <laughs> game two, this dude. What, what did you do to me, game two? Game two, I sided in 15 cards, and you must have noticed because you made me go first. <laughs> but that was a mistake because I set up two masquerades with a Karma Cannon and a Super Poly. It was wild. So I attributed his Karma Cannons. I mean, not his Karma Cannons. His masquerades, masquerades with two Kong Kongs because I had two, and then. Afterwards, I made a board. I'm about to go into the link four. He karma canned me. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. I'm like, his other card must be dead. So I go uh, Lone Fire, Snowdrop, and then he super follows my cards. For Garura. And then my last card in my hand was Monster Reborn, and I still made a tear drop. Yep. I didn't want to tribute his, um, I didn't want to kill your Garura because I didn't want you to draw. Yeah. Right? So I wanted you to force it. And, and he I drew. I top deck terraforming and then tragedy effect set branded fusion. <laughs> and then it was it was just goo from there. So uh, it was a good game. We it had was a, lot a good of fun. game. My best match all day. Like, yeah, good. For sure. So that's cool. My first. Actually, this is also crazy, crazy, crazy fact. It's my first time getting too old, like playing this deck ever. How, how does that feel, though? Glad to be the one who does it. Mystic TCG. Mystic, Any shout yes. outs? Shout out to Mystic TCG. And Coach crazy. Ward. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And the earrings too, you got this goo. The, the millennium earrings. <laughs>
A Miller's gonna get his Nationals invite by winning a regional flight. Yeah. You just have to win four rounds. You just have to win a locals. Is that easy? Yeah. Easy. So you better get your invite, get the deck box, get the mat, get everything. And me, your boy, we're going for the giant card. So let's do it. Uh, we're here at the uh, the side event table, you know, with all these cool prizes. What are you trying to get, dog? What um, What's the number one thing you're trying to get? The number one thing I'm probably trying to get is the giant card, the the muck breaker, McCracker, that one. Uh, yeah, that's probably like number one. The like the mats and stuff are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Spiral mats kind of crispy. Um, the J the Draco Slayer uh, giant card is pretty good. Oh, it's like got a little foil in it too. That's cute. But like. The real, the real thing you want to go for at the events is the, the uncut sheets. Oh, the, uh, the starlight. Do you think yeah. you can uh, get it by yourself? There's no way, right? You uh, gotta get a team, right? Well, you know what? At Nats, me and my, me and my team, TRA Syndicate, we actually got the giant card. We got the punk, the punk synchro, amazing dragon. Ooh. So like with a team, you can definitely do it by yourself. You're gonna be grinding, especially with like. The, the, them limiting tickets this time around yeah, yeah it's crazy yeah. yeah if you guys didn't know they limited the tickets this time so like you don't get tickets for participating until the very end so yeah. you got to play through the whole you got to play every round bro it's insane That's crazy. Like, hey, guys what time we got body at the attack on giant card i got i played against tears went to game three he drew everything so you know it'd be like that and now I'm playing against my opponent in a uh, regional flight If you look at it hard enough, it'll manifest onto the screen. So yeah, wish me luck, guys. Guys, we're back after a long day of dueling. I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. So I played in the, what is it? The Attack of the Giant card in round one. I played against a tier player and he had everything. Like when I said everything, I mean everything. A game two, I watched him. Then game three, um, he went first and I just couldn't break his board. It just it just be like that sometimes. So part of the game, I drew five spells. I needed one either board breaker or extender. I put in the sphere modes and everything. They didn't come up. But uh, I'll show you guys the new build at some point. But I gotta figure out what to do with this Shizu. And then we played at uh, the regional flights because I wanted the ninja mat. Uh, I got through two matches, one to two. Third, I played against a tier player. We only played one round, okay? Went to time, he outgrinded me. Uh, one of the mistakes I made was um, I made the conservative play. He had two cards in hand. Uh, one set on the field, which I would assume is the tier elements uh, Sully, so we couldn't use it anyways. He had two cards in hand, and I wanted to be safe and play around Nib by summoning Strene and then recurring the sheet. And basically, I have like a semi okay board for whatever he has popped up. But uh, he managed to power through, and I did make a major misplay where. Instead of waiting for him to summon Baron, I don't know, he forced he forced the sheep by popping my field spell with Kaleido Heart. So I had to uh, use the sheep there. But instead of attributing his uh, Cartesia so he can't summon Baron, I attributed his Kikalos instead. So that was my major mistake because he then proceeded to use the uh, the trap card, the counter trap to negate my sheep. So I was in a bad spot there, but that was like one of my biggest mistakes. But you know, we live and we learn, but we managed to get enough tickets from the events to get a beautiful structure deck freezing chains. And we got a cool little pack opening segment for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Cause what I wanted the 18s and he gave me a deal for all of them. So I'm like, okay, that's okay. We'll see what happens guys. I'm looking for the DP. Oh wait, that's an ulti. Ooh, nice. let's go! A clay's here, let's go! I see it, I see it. So yeah, we uh we made our money back. <laughs> we got about 10 left, so we believe, guys. We want the Zeus. We're watching some guys, you know, pull some goo, some cracked. Zeus. Oh, oh my, god. my god, second one. You got Oh my god. Can he complete that place? Then we're gonna place that? 
That didn't even look like an ulti in the back. No, no, there's no way. There's no way. Manifest the card. That's a super dog. <laughs> there's no way. Yo, there's no way. We got we got a super and an ulti in the same pack. That is wild. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty good actually. We we got it for a good price. I just want to let you guys know. So we take those. The world ends now.